Hey guys, what's up? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today and much appreciate you guys taking a little bit of time out of your day to check the video out. And today I've, you know, been talking about the fact that, you know, I've sort of on this channel, I do a wide range of different topics and tips and this and that, that so, so people don't get bored. Today's one of those tips. I want to talk a little bit about today who is without a doubt the most famous bass angler in the world. You may not believe it until I explain to you why, but as the title says, it's The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. And I want to go into a little bit about what I'm talking about and why I feel like that and uh, talk a little bit about The Rock here because if you haven't followed the guy a little bit um, as far as his bass fishing exploits and everything else, um, you know, it's extremely interesting. I didn't really know him when he was a wrestler. I never watched wrestling before. I knew he was a wrestler from the past, but I knew him from from movies, from acting and that type of stuff. But I really started paying a close attention to him on some of the social media feeds, particularly, uh, you know, in the gym, because the guy, uh, you know, he's he, he's 50 years old and he is jacked. I mean, he you can't get any more jacked than The Rock is. He's six foot five, 260 pounds of solid muscle. And uh, he's like, I can imagine wrestling with guys. He's probably like grabbing a hold of piece of, a piece of, you know, s slippery walnut tree or something. So anyway, one of the things that one, uh, I admire a lot about the guy because the guy, if you know, if you follow him much, you can you know that he's super motivational and super positive all the time. He on all of his social media feeds, he's always talking about helping people to become the best version of themselves, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, that type of stuff. He encourages and, and stresses and teaches positive living, positive lifestyle, goes into his workout, his gym, um, and he, he's always talking about, you know, becoming the best version of who you are all the time. Um, great role model for kids. He does a lot for children, a lot of charities, um, very charitable person, um, like I said, heavily involved in a lot of different stuff that, uh, uh, you know, public service, that type of stuff. And the discipline and dedication he shows in the gym is just unparalleled. I mean, the dude, you know, he goes into the gym at midnight, works out for two hours and is up at five o'clock in the morning, you know, working on some project he's working on. So anyway, the reason that The Rock is the most famous bass angler in the world is simply his social media following. He has got over 200 million Instagram followers alone, hundreds of, and you know, well into the hundred million plus in his other social media forms, his YouTube, Facebook, that type of stuff. So you take somebody, when you're talking about bass fishing, uh, comparatively to the anglers you consider famous anglers, like Bill Dance or Kevin Van Dam, those guys are nothing. They're, they're not even on the radar compared to how many people that are aware of the rock and aware of the fact he bass fishes. And if you're not familiar with the rock's bass fishing, the dude loves to bass fish. He's got a farm in Virginia that basically he's got a bass farm that he manages, raises bass, and he talks about it a lot on his um, social media. Catching bass here, you see him catching bass off the bank all the time, but he's talking about how he raises these fish and, and uh, you know, takes care of them and that type of stuff. And then he's fishing in other places too. I've seen him fishing in Florida, I've seen him fishing in California. There's not another celebrity on this planet that bass fishes as much as The Rock does. And the good thing about this, and this is why I say that The Rock is the most important figure in bass fishing in the world, is the fact that he reaches a global market of hundreds of millions of people. More people than live in the United States, literally around the planet, Hundreds of millions of people see The Rock bass fishing and they see him talking about conservation efforts and, and caring for the fish and respect for the fish. If you ever watch him in some of his videos, um, when he catches a fish, it's almost like it's he's got a reverence for the fish. I mean, he appreciates the beauty of the bass and, you know, he, he talks to it in loving terms and he's talking about managing the fishery. And all of the stuff that he does is educating the public towards our sport of bass fishing, which is a great thing. It brings awareness to our sport. And in my opinion, when you're talking about what's important in bass fishing, it's not how to become a better fisherman and it's not the latest lure. 
the most important thing in bass fishing, in my opinion, and it should be at the top of everybody's list. If you're a bass angler, guys, the number one thing that you should be concerned about in bass fishing is making sure the sport is sustainable and healthy for future generations after you're gone from this planet, for the next, for your children, your grandchildren, and their children. And one of the things that The Rock is doing is through his environmental awareness and his conservation efforts and his massive global social media rig, he's exposing people that have never heard about bass fishing ever to bass fishing. And this is just a great thing. It really is. He's a great ambassador for the sport. Yeah, you can goof on some of the stuff. You know, he, he may not be, you know, like a professional angler, but he's out there fishing. You know, you can't say that about all these, all these people out there, all the, the that are well-known, the, you know, the celebrities and politicians that say they fish. They don't fish like The Rock does. The Rock bass is, is a hardcore bass angler and gives it back a lot to the sport. So, um... I just wanted to throw that out there a little bit. I just, I'm, you know, every time he, he posts a bass fishing video, it seems like about, you know, at, at least a couple times a month, whether it be, you know, out in California or his farm in Virginia or fishing in Florida, always talking about it, that type of stuff, talking about baits. And I really get a kick out of that because like I said, the guy, I'm just, I've, you know, from, from the standpoint of his, his simple, simply from the standpoint of the positivity and the motivational efforts that he puts in, I have a lot of respect for him for that, and for the for basically the way he talks about bass fishing. I mean, he like I said, he he talks about bass fishing in terms of caring for the sport and caring for the fish, which is really important. So anyway, guys, just wanted to throw out there um, the. The most, I, I can tell you right now, the most famous bass angler in the world is Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. There's not another dude out there. There's not, a, you can take Bill Vance, Roland Martin, uh, Kevin Van Dam, Jacob Wheeler, all the, Ike and Ellie, all the greatest fishermen in the world combine them together, and they don't even show as a blip on the radar compared to how many people are being exposed to bass fishing through the rock. So check it out. Check out some of his Instagram stuff on fish and see what you think about it. So anyway, just a quick video today with that. Hope everybody's doing good and we'll talk to you later. See you.